Wolves, Night Ox, welcome back to another workout. I'm here in the drum gymnasium uh, with a jump rope. Yeah, this is not my comfort zone. I'm not very good at this, but I'm gonna step out on a limb and risk uh, the ability of not being able to do this in front of you, just giving it a shot. So today's workout involves a jump rope. So if you have one, hit pause, go find your jump rope, come back and we'll continue on. So now that you have your jump ropes and you are ready to participate. If you don't have a jump rope, that's okay. I'll show you an alternative uh, that you can do instead. But today's activity is 10 and a half minutes long. We're going to jump for 30 seconds, rest for 15, do a leg activity for 30 seconds, rest for 15, jump, legs, jump, legs. We're going to go through that for 10 minutes. Now, jump roping, for those of you that know how to do this, uh, which I don't very well, we're just gonna regular jump for 30 seconds. Now, if you know how to do tricks or other things, feel free, that's up to you. The whole objective though is to keep the rope moving for those 30 seconds and try not to mess up as little as you possibly can. So, jumping, legs, hopefully you might have a water bottle around too, you might need that. Don't know, 10 minutes, you can probably make it through. Anyway, I look forward to trying this out with you. Let's do it. All right, here we go in five seconds. And go. 30 seconds of jump ropes. Try to keep that rope moving throughout the whole 30 seconds. I'm gonna turn sideways a little bit. Don't hit the curtain behind me every time. 15 seconds left. Coordination of jump roping is a hard thing. Yeah, getting that rope under your feet every time. And that's 30 seconds. Oh, I made that a lot farther than I thought I would. Okay, we're gonna do alternating high knees. So we're gonna lift this side, lift this side. Notice how high my hands are. They're about chest height. All right, here we go. And go. Lift those legs out to the side. We're not lifting them up to the front, but instead I'm lifting those knees as high as I can to the side. And notice I'm keeping my hands up here at chest height. I'm not reaching down for my knee. I'm lifting my knee up to my leg. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, if you have them, grab them. We're back to the ropes for 30 seconds. That's set one. There we go. Jumping for 30 seconds. And go. My daughter, for those of you that know her, I don't know if any of you do though, she used to be on a jump rope team and they would do jump roping practice for two hours after school every day. This is hard doing it for 30 seconds at a time and what will end up being five minutes. And that's 30 seconds when we're done. I don't know how she did it for two hours. And that was when she was kindergarten to fifth grade. Okay, we're doing squat jacks. Follow me as I go. So, we're going out, down. Squat, jack, 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 touch your toes, touch your toes. 15 seconds. Hopefully all of you had a great first week of online and hybrid learning. And that's 30 seconds. Grab those ropes. Yeah, hopefully last week was a great first week of hybrid for those of you that came back in to the classroom. Here we go. And go. Yeah. I bet it was quite a change for a lot of you to be back in the classroom and 
being with your teachers, actually seeing them for the first time. Ooh, this gets harder the longer you do it. Three seconds. And we're done. Okay, regular squats this time. And those of you that change teachers but are still online, hopefully it's a great thing for you as well. And go. I had a great first week with my new fifth graders. We've been having a lot of fun in math. So give another shout out to them. Give a shout out to them the other day. And I'm gonna give a shout out Maya Skinner, yeah, it's her birthday this weekend, so shout out to you, and happy birthday, it'll be late in the next 30 seconds, okay, we are doing 30 seconds of jumping again, this is a good workout, all right, and go. Static squats. 
and we're just gonna hold a squat position for 30 seconds. That's gonna be a break. Okay. And let's go. Down into a squat. We're just gonna hold this. Try to keep that weight even and balanced. Not too far back from your shingles. Not too far forward on the balls of your feet. Try to keep it centered. Five seconds, you got this. Nice job, everybody. And that's 30 seconds. One more jumping. Great job, man. So it should be active and moving. So it should be alive. Here we go. Last jump rope. I'm impressed. Not to brag or anything. I'm just saying, I'm impressed how many times I haven't missed the rope today. I thought it would be a lot uglier than this. That's why I told you at the beginning that I was a little leery about doing it. Focus helps. And that's 30 seconds. All right. Last thing, we are skipping in place for 30 seconds. tell you what the alternative was I'm just realizing that now and I apologize for that hopefully you figured out an alternative and you made it through just adapting on your own maybe you just pretended with a rope so I apologize for forgetting to share that with you excellent job everybody I look forward to seeing you next time stay well